You need to be the purple cow. Have you heard the theory of the purple cow before? Anyone? So there is a theory that is the, the theory of the purple cow, which means that basically you drive in your car, you know, you're going to the countryside, right? And what you see in the countryside, what is that that you see? You see farms, yeah? You see green pastures, you see the blue sky, you see wood and trees, and also you see a lot, a lot of animals. Hmm? But majority of them, cows, yeah? And nothing calls your attention, and that's why you're driving safely. Because even though you see that everything is beautiful, is a general composition, and it's something that you are expecting anyway. You went to the countryside to experience that. Hmm? Happens to be that one of those cows is a purple one. What happens to you? You stop by the car and you say, how possible there is a purple cow in this particular farm? And that is the point of this. We need to think, we need to act, we need to believe in the purple cow theory, which is not precisely about the color, but understanding that if all the consulting companies, and you want to be a consulting one as well, if all of them are blue because they love the blue color, and they love the gray color because they think, ah, blue and gray is super professional. You know, it's corporate. So I need to be corporate. No, you don't need to be corporate. You need to be visible, visible. That's the only way to be visible, to be different, to be that different that people will stop by and look at you for one second, who cares? But if in that second you have something to add, you have a catchy slogan, you have a logo that people will recall, you will have a situation that people will relate to, you have interest you have attention, you have engagement, and that is what they want you guys to do.